What could be another busy week at the State House? Yeah, the General Assembly wrapped up their legislative session with a flurry of activity late Friday and Saturday, and now those bills that they passed are sitting on Governor Raimondo's desk. She's scheduled to sign at least one of those bills today, but not without a last minute push for her to reconsider one of them. Alexander Leslie live in the control room with the latest on Kristen's Law. Good morning. Well, the bill calls for holding drug dealers accountable when a person they sold drugs to dies of an overdose. And it passed on a House by a vote by 55 to 14. Now, the majority voted yes on the bill after passing an amendment on the floor clarifying only people who sell, not share drugs, will be charged with a crime. Those people could receive up to a life sentence. This bill also includes a Good Samaritan clause to protect someone from being charged if they seek medical treatment for someone who's overdosing. Governor Gina Raimondo told Eyewitness News Friday night after speaking to people on either side of this bill, she does intend to sign it, but it wasn't an easy decision. That is a tough call. That bill is specifically focused on drug dealers. It is, it's not about friends sharing drugs. It's about sending a strong message to drug dealers that if you are knowingly dealing drugs in Rhode Island that you know are going to kill people the first time they use it, we're going we're gonna to come at you with the fullest extent of the law. Representative Moira Walsh is one of several lawmakers who appealed to their colleagues to defeat the bill, but last night she took to Twitter saying she hopes the governor vetoes it. Now, Representative Walsh, of course, not the only one who wants the veto. There is a schedule of protests of the governor signing of Kristen's law at the State House later this afternoon. For now, live in the control room, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.